This is Ricky Jai. When you want the best calypso, soca, reggae, chutney, anything you want, you check out Culture Share. That's the program for you. <laughs> of Frosty in the background if you want a soaker. This is the time to put all of your inhibitions aside. This is the time to get into a flamboyant frame of mind. This is Kai Soka time. Stay right where you are and enjoy the happiness in the music for the next hour. I am Harold Paisidi and this is Culture Share. Now if you were to tell Caleb Sonian Shadow, Shadow you're ugly. Now this would have nothing no effect whatsoever on the man because Shadow has heard that on many an occasion and he'll be the first to tell you that I ain't thinking nothing, I know ugly. Well you see, when Shadow gets on stage, he always excites the ladies, much to the envy of the gentleman that may be looking on. And one of the first things a gentleman will tell Shadow is that Shadow, the women love you because you're walking obia. Little boy, name called Arai, accusing me real seriously. He say he feel that I just steal. I ask him why he telling lies. He say you singing nonsense, but people love your nonsense. It's Obia, yeah. you walking Obia. Yeah. You looking like a boo, but everybody loves you. It's Obia. Yeah. You walk in Obia Obia man Answer the question, why yeah? Obia man Is it true or not you're dealing with Satan? Obia You walk in Obia Obia You walk in 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 Obia That you does use Could make you feet Post up your shoes, oh yeah 
Oh, be a man. You think you're smart. No, no, man, man. But be like that. I know you're singing nonsense, but yet I love your nonsense. It's oh, yeah. You're walking, oh, yeah. I mean, you're looking like a boo boo. But yet, my sister loves you. It's oh, yeah. You're walking, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I tell the brat, I don't like that. He run my son and tell me how. I ask him what this all is for. He said this all does not hold ya. I know you're singing nonsense, but people love your nonsense. It's oh yeah, you're walking, oh yeah, oh yeah. You're looking like a boo boo, but everybody loves you. It's oh yeah, you're walking, oh yeah. And then you say, oh yeah, man. Answer the question, oh yeah, oh yeah, man. Since you are not to deal with Satan, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Shadow with one of his big hits from the 1980s, Obia, yeah, 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 oh, yeah. The Mighty Trini is a Calypso and who has come a long way in the art form. Now, when the Mighty Trini started singing Calypso, a lot of people thought this is going to be a flash in the pan because of his family's origin, his family being born in Syria. But Trini has persevered and today is definitely an improved performer. Here is Trini at the finals at the March 94 in Trinidad with No! That ain't Calypso. Calypso is rhyme and rhythm emanating from a drum. Calypso is a song of love. Not a vehicle you use to ridicule and abuse others who may be unworthy of. But many are Calypsonian, but integrity and whole. The strength we are from its soul. In a competitive world They try and cry and they're scooping low To see where man head us go No, that thing a little so Messenger of hate and anger Instrument of propaganda No, that thing a little so Something that is mean and vulgar Between me to greed and culture No, that thing a little so This why you find If I had to sing one line Rather than be one kind I sing in charm and wine Charm and wine I sing in charm and wine
Deb so is entertainment You're in context and content A medium of social rapport When you're listening to it It must lift up your spirit And have you coming back for more But if one is translation The oral composition Spells humiliation For a decent woman Regardless of how the story goes If I may say so No, that take a lip so Crazy in tongue telling big man Take a man for consolation No, that take a lip so Blue Panther in his rendition Wasting tongue a politician No, that take a lip so This is why you're fine If I have to see one line Rather than be on time I sing in charm and wine Charm and wine I sing in charm and wine It's not the real thing Caught up in its own ethics It must guarantee lyrics That even a little child could sing The philosophy must touch you And leave you with food for talk It must not sell you short By way of a false report For even though you might still be sure And come out a big hero No, that thing a little so Pride and honor, destroyer of good character. No, that thing a little so. Cater to lies and slander, conqueror of pain and trauma. No, that thing a little so. I don't know how to define the tragic decline of this heart of mine. That is why you're fine. If I had to sing one line. Rather than be on kind of I sing in charm and wine Charm and wine hey. Certainly a man who believes in himself, the mighty Trini on Culture Share. We're on the pulse of the Calypso beat and we'll be back with a Calypsonian from St. Vincent and the Grenadines who was once a lead singer of a band. Give me the pump, we want the pump, give me the pump, we want the pump. To all them brass bands and them engineers, we begging please don't worry to ease up on them speakers. We pay with money to come in the party, so don't you use no bone excuse to hold back on we. We want you to turn them up to the max, to hold give them chance to relax. We want it. Thank you. 
share on the move. Now if you're from St. Vincent, especially Cyan Hill, you must have heard about Coltrick Forbes. He was the lead singer of the band Revolution. Well, Coltrick has now progressed into an artist, a solo artist in the Calypso business. Here he is performing in Brooklyn doing a Komoto party, a Komoto fete.
Forbes doing his action spot on Culture Share. Now imagine, just imagine for a while, you are in a strange land, in a strange place, dining on an enchanting evening. And there in the corner is a lady who stands out in the crowd, and you are captured by the magnificence of her beauty. So you decide to step over, and before you know it, you're in conversation, so you get to know her, and you get to realize this could be your kind of woman. But then you realize, oops, I'm a married man, and I have a family, so there's no way we can get involved with each other. And so you relate that to her, but she's also spellbound by your presence and by the nature of your intelligence. So in order for her to remember you, she decides to tattoo your face on her body. Just imagine. Now, I wonder if that ever happened to the mighty sparrow. Ay, ay, ay. Oy, oy, oy. Oy, 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 oy. Now listen to my story, boys. I need your sympathy. The big fat tattooed gal in the circus fell in love with me And to prove her love was sweet, a sugar cane toddy She had my picture tattooed on her body She had the landing of the pilgrims on her shoulder and on her back, she had the sunset of the west And right beside her bow-legged knees Two apple trees And the pyramids look lovely on her chest When she decided that she'd like to add my picture she simply couldn't find a vacant spot, you see So she tattooed my poor face In the most peculiar place 
And now whenever she sits down, she sits on me. She has a lovely blue gardenia tattooed on her elbow. And on her hip, she's got the beautiful queen of May. And right beside her shapely spine, if you see that part of mine, you will see the famous road to Mandalay. She has a rusty hinge that's tattooed on her kneecap. It looks so real, it squeaks each time she bend her knee. But she filled me with disgrace Where she tattooed my poor face Whenever she sit down Sit down on me Banana, banana, whenever she sits down Sits on me Banana Why I look so sad and worried Do you wonder why I'm feeling mighty low I would like to take a chance And give her one swift kick in the pants But if I do, I'll only kick myself I know The only time that anyone can see my picture is when the tattooed lady takes a bath. Oh gee, I get black and blue, of course. Anytime she rides a horse, for whenever she sits down, she sits on me. Whenever she sits down, she sits on. Me. The incomparable Mighty Sparrow with a Las Vegas type of sound there. Tattooed Lady on Culture Share. We'll be back with more action. The wheels of the Soka caravan continues to roll and one man who has a very important seat on that caravan is Ricky Jai. This year he says, turn your ways. <laughs>
the frontliners in the soca art form Ricky Jai with his turn your ways well I stole some time to have a, a rap with the goodly gentleman and I began by asking him if he was quite happy with the kind of excitement that turn your ways created at Trinidad's carnival this year uh, it's a kind of a uh, trilogy uh, one year it was show me emotion the next year it was wine on your bum see and then you know, this year is turn your ways so I'm gonna take all the body parts piece by piece so what do you have in store for 95 then? Oh, the fingers? 95 is going to be something real unique, you know, you're going to see all the different aspects of Ricky Jai. The jump and wave, the don't wave, the wine, the don't wine, everything you want to see about Ricky Jai, you're going to see next year. I even show you an Indian song inside. <laughs> do you feel every year that you always have something to prove? Well, to prove, yes, I always have to prove to my fans that I can be consistent, I can give them good music, and I have to prove to them. Every year I have to prove to them that I must give them good music. That's what I have to prove. Now you are a versatile performer and I know for a fact that you put a lot of thought into what you do on stage. Is that true? Yeah, well, you you think about it before you go on. But sometimes when you get on stage, you just let it happen. Whatever that crowd, you know, whatever is happening with the crowd, you just let it happen, man. But it's all, it's all inside there, the computer working forward, backward. <laughs> Fast forward, rewind. Fast effect. forward, rewind. <laughs> Ricky, you are a frontliner in the soca business. And I hold a lot of respect to you as a performer. Yeah, man. Respect. And I know for a fact that you want to make it big. And so the struggle continues. Well, like, you know, the last time we spoke right here in the same room, last year when the madness has continued after carnival, uh -huh. you know, I mentioned to you that, you know, the music is on the verge of breaking. And um, when I say on the verge, I don't mean it might break tomorrow or next year, you know, man. Anytime it could happen, anytime it could happen. You know what I mean? Soka music is gonna go and there's no stopping. No stopping it. Nobody, no force, no other music is gonna stop soca music. Ricky Jai is a versatile performer. You don't just give us raw soca, but you give us a touch of the Indian soca, like this roti too big, oh, yeah. for instance. And I know you will not give up on the indigenous Indian soca type music. And you have told me that you intend to do even some more of it. Oh yeah, well, for instance, um, I'll be putting out two sets of music for the coming year. Um, one will be hardcore soca, some will be Indo soca, and some will be pure Indian. They <laughs> 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 what they call chutney. Right. You understand? So it's, um, a lot of people said that Ricky Jai came from um, you know, Indian background and forget his roots and whatever. But um, I'm a firm believer that I'm a, I'm a Trinidadian. And whatever the music of Trinidad is, it belongs to me. If I sing Indian song, if I sing Calypso, Chutney, that's the music of Trinidad Tobago. So you're going to see everything that Ricky Chai could do as the music of Trinidad Tobago. The Soka Mona competition, which is a competition separate from the Calypso Mona competition. 
with all of the visibility that soca music is getting, you think it's a necessity to have such? A soca mona competition? Yes. Definitely, man. I think it's one of the best things that happened for the, for the um, you know, for, for dance, dance all soca. The soca mona. Because year after year we are faced, well, I say we, us, the party people, the party Calypsonians, we are faced with the problem. You cannot get onto the, the grand, the grand, the, you know, grand that, stage. That, grand, that big year, you right. can't get into the big year. So I think, you know, the, the Soka Monarch is ideal for party people, for party Calypsonians. Hey, this is our thing, this is our forum. You judge us, and that's it, we're happy. We have no complaints. They can't tell us about social commentary and we bad talk the government. We just want to make people happy, to make them jump, to make them have a good time. But does it sometimes bother you that, um, on your record, you cannot do something of a serious social commentary nature? Not at all. Uh, it doesn't bother me at all because I know I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you saying? If you call upon to be in the, in the Calypso Monarch Finals, you can give them real, true, hardcore, heavy lyrics. Uh, don't, be so, don't, don't be too surprised if you see me there next year. <laughs> Ricky Jai on Culture Share. We'll be back. <laughs> The International Monetary Fund dictates to the governments that they should enforce austerity measures so as to gain revenue to pay back the debt that the countries owe to them. So as the countries institute structural adjustments in the economy, Calypsonian Babala says structural adjustments should not be only for the IMF, but for everybody. You say the IMF does want to take out your dress and have you beg and confess and expose your nakedness. To hold you in a corner and jam you in the center with austerity measure before you get one dollar. Well, we just can't let Grenada be a prostitute begging for money. And since that we have a plan, it should be for everyone. Peter helping Paul might just be the solution. First with Grenada In this recession You see Peter love the country And he go make it his duty He go sacrifice He go pay the price But after the concession Paul still taking home 5,000 Well time to take a stand Before IMF fight this land So to avoid the misery when they devalue the currency, Mr. Breezy, structural adjustment is for every. You see, I mismanage me body because I'm getting government subsidy. Mami oi, structural adjustment is for everybody. I walk in on contract, I send in all my money back. Oi, oi, structural adjustment. He's for everybody. La -ba -bam -bam -bam. You are skin for revolution, a changing consumption pattern. But what you show on television, show giving us wrong direction. Yes, I feel like chicken tonight, on with television, day and night. And all the children follow, they have their arms going. Well, like you need a reminder, to cherish and respect we culture. What's wrong with we balahu? On television we could see it too. Never can fish tonight for the nation to take a bite. And if you advertise it day and night, 
fighting with all me might because I love me country and I go make it me duty. And if we stitch in time, we bound to save nine. But inside we treasury, we want better accountability. It's too much money leaking from the treasury. So to bring some satisfaction towards the whole nation, Mr. Breezy, structural adjustment is for everybody. Tell GBC TV, do something for the fishing industry. Mami Hoy, structural adjustment is for everybody. The radio program must educate the whole nation. Hoy, hoy. Structural adjustment is for everybody. Thank you. Serious Grenadian Calypsonian Bobala Structural Adjustment on Culture Share. Jump Up and Get On Bad was a great Calypso, a great soaker for Carnival and TNT 1993. And the man at Jala, well, in 1994, he came even better with his tidal wave, which smashed down the entire populace in TNT for Carnival. Here he is doing the tidal wave in Scarborough, Canada. This is one of the prime men in the soca business today. And when I say prime, I mean prime, like prime time at Jala.
Party center. 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 All right, watch it. This side is the Red Sea. Red Sea. Red Sea. Red Sea. This side is Morocco. But watch it, the Red Sea began on America's beach. And it claims more things in history. So I want to see where the tidal wave coming from. Red Sea Pussy, say where are you? No, 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 no. Like all they don't like the name Red Sea. What about Carnage? Carnage Pussy, Shock Bell Pussy. All they like that boy. Give me some room, give me some room. Watch it. Watch it! Everybody on this side, put your hand in the air! Hand in the air! All you hold it down! Hand in the air! Do everything I say after four, you will do! One! Take out your hand! Take out your hand! Take out your hand! Take out your hand! Hold on! Take out your Two! Yeah. I remember just last week I was in a fet and I see a woman pull off, she falls eyelash and start to wave it. For true. Ajala on Culture Share. Drop us a line, tell us what you think of the program <laughs> and keep that smile on your face. Join us again same time next time around. Till then, <laughs> bye for now. What did you say? Say, jump up. What did teacher say? 